There are four basic steps to brewing any kind of beer. Malting, mashing, boiling, and fermentation. Malting is the process of heating, drying, and cracking grains used to flavor beer. It's usually barley, but sometimes you can also use wheat, rye, and most other kinds of grain. Second is mashing. Mashing is a fancy term for steeping your grains in hot but not boiling water, kind of like brewing tea. This process causes the ingredients to release their sugars, creating a sticky, sweet liquid called wort. Third, you boil your wort, adding the spices and hops that produce a variety of flavors. After the wort is boiled, it is cooled, strained, and filtered. And then we move on to the final step, fermentation. That's the process of adding yeast to your beer to produce alcohol. Depending on the type of yeast and the kind of beer you're making, the process can take as little as a week or as long as a few months. There are two types, ale and lager. Ale yeast ferments at the top, requires a temperature of 55 to 75 degrees, and takes as little as a week to complete fermentation. Lager yeast ferments at the bottom, and because it requires a lower temperature of 45 to 60 degrees, it can take anywhere between three weeks and two months. It's the yeast that makes the beer, so all beers fall into either ales or lagers. But their bitterness, acidity, and flavors all vary widely based on what ingredients are used. IPAs, porters, and stouts are all ales. Most American domestic beers are lagers, and so are Oktoberfests and Pilsners. For Indiana Public Broadcasting, I'm digital producer Lauren Chapman. Do you have a business, government, education, health, or environment topic you'd like explained? Reach out to me on Twitter at Lauren E. Chapman underscore.